And for my next favorite book, no, no, I'm just kidding. That would be really, really weird. Like, really weird. Hey guys, what's up? It's Willa, and I am back to the vlogs, finally! Like, a video for me? What is that? That's so surprising. Um, I'm so sorry I've been away for so long. Um, after the summer, things just started to get really, really busy for me, and then it was the holidays, and then, you know, I could've filmed right after the holidays. I could've, I had the time, but then, you know, I found my old PS2, and I started playing through Kingdom Hearts again to prepare for the third one, and... Well, uh, <laughs> you get the picture. Oh my god, Del texted me two days ago and I never answered him. Anyway, I put a poll up on our Instagram, at children.of.light, in our Instagram story the other day, and asked you what video you would most like to see from me next, giving you the choice between either my Christmas traditions and what my Christmas was like this year, or a list of my favorite books. And it was a close call, but you guys chose my favorite books, so I am here today to talk about that. I am thinking about doing a series with these vlogs called Willa's PJ Party Book Reviews um, because I'm obsessed with PJs just as much as I'm obsessed with books and I thought it would be fun to do book reviews in my pajamas! However, this is not technically a book review um, and I got dressed today so I guess we're just not doing pajamas this time but think of this as an introduction. So um, there's not much left to say and without further ado let's get started! I thought I'd start off with some of my favorite classic novels, which includes and begins with my favorite book of all time, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I have read this book too many times to count. I love everything about it. I have posters with Pride and Prejudice, shirts, keychains, like all my friends just know that I love Pride and Prejudice. It's ridiculous. And I've seen the movie way too many times. I love everything about Pride and Prejudice, from the love story to the characters, the character development, William Darcy himself, because I mean, who doesn't love an emotionally unavailable guy with a soft romantic side, am I right? So go read Pride and Prejudice if you haven't already. Everybody needs to read this book. Now if classic literature is tough for you, and Pride and Prejudice can be tough, I suggest getting into things with the modernized version of the stories, which is the web series, the Lizzie Bennet Diaries, all available on YouTube. It tells a very faithful rendition of the story while putting it in a modern, easy to understand context. And if web series are not your thing and you want to read, but you want to know what the story is about before you dive into the really hard to understand English, then you can read The Secret Diary of Lizzie Bennet by Bernie Sue and Kate Rorick. And this is a novelized version of the modernized web series. So moving on to some other classic novels. Charles Dickens, and not just Great Expectations, because that's what it says really big on the cover here, but this is actually a collection of three Charles Dickens stories, Great Expectations, Oliver Twist, and A Tale of Two Cities. I love everything Charles Dickens, particularly A Christmas Carol. Next up on my list of favorite classic novels, I have Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Alice Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. Alice has been one of my favorite stories since I was a little girl, both the books and the cartoon movie. Um, my dad used to read Alice's Adventures in Wonderland to me all the time before I went to bed. Um, I probably made him tear through it like 20 times before I started reading on my own before bed. Um, and even when I was reading on my own before bed, sometimes I just wanted my dad to read the story to me. Alice is probably the reason for my love of adventure. And, you know, that obviously contributed to me being a keeper, even though I didn't necessarily have a choice in getting involved in the adventure and it was more about acting in Disney. But you know what? That's beside the point. Yes, I have met Alice and yeah, I was kind of starstruck. <laughs> Next up, I have Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. I love all of Shakespeare's stuff, but there's just something about Romeo and Juliet that's so enchanting and makes it my favorite Shakespeare play. 
Um, it's probably because this is usually the first Shakespeare play you read in school to be introduced to Shakespeare. It was the first Shakespeare play I read in school. Um, and there's something about this play that just draws you back every time. The social politics of this play is probably what keeps drawing me back to it and makes it one of my favorites. Um, because especially when you consider the time period it was written in, how it was ahead of its time, um, what this play meant for that time period, how it started to change public attitudes, history, what was the history of the time? Why did Shakespeare write this play? There's so many questions to delve into and so many things to learn. And the more you learn, the more amazing this play becomes. And the more I love it. Plus, I just adore that balcony scene. So now moving on past classic novels, I'm going to talk about some of my other favorites. And a lot of them are very cliche. But you know what? I'm not even sorry. I love anything John Green. Particularly The Fault in Our Stars and Paper Towns. I have read all of John Green's novels and I love them all, but these two are definitely my favorite, with The Fault in Our Stars probably taking a little bit of precedence, um, but the mystery in Paper Towns and the message in it always just like haunts me and shakes me down to my core and just drags me back every time. And fun fact, the prom in my high school was kind of like enchanted fairy tale library kind of thing. And Del and I totally have pictures from the photo booth holding up signs that say, okay, okay. Gossamer by Lois Lowry has enchanted me since I was about 10 or 11 years old. I love Lois Lowry's work and Gossamer is probably my favorite of hers. There's just always been a certain magic to it um, with the idea of this little creature, magical creature. I don't even know what to call him, like, you know, going into dreams, helping the kid. And it's got that timeless kind of feel to it. The Diviners by Libba Bray is another one of my favorites because I love historical fiction and fantasy and The Diviners is a nice combination of both of those things. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children is another one of my favorites, again because of the history aspect involved, um, because, you know, the book is based off of real photos that the author found from, like, the historical period that it was written. I think it was World War II. Um, so the novel is based around real World War II photos that no one can really explain, um, why they look that way, so the author wrote a story around it, and I just think that's so cool. Plus, the story's just fun. I, of course, love Percy Jackson and all the series that come with it, Hunger Games, and Matched! Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins and Matched by Ali Condi, two of my favorite dystopia series. Tiger Lily by Jodie Lynn Anderson is another favorite um, with that fairy tale aspect, the adventure aspect. I've loved Peter Pan since I was a little girl um, and it's a really interesting take on the story that just breaks my heart and moves me and I love it. And finally, of course, the one I haven't mentioned that you know because I did a whole video about it, but Harry Potter, duh! And fun fact, I saw a cursed child when I went to New York for a vacation over the summer, and it was amazing. Anyway, keepers, that's it. That's a list of some of my favorite books. I hope you enjoyed. Um, so moving on from that, I was going to talk about the book that I'm reading next. I'm not reading anything right now, but next I am getting ready to read... An Assassin's Guide to Love and Treason by Virginia Bowicker. Anyway, keepers, um, that's it for today. Um, I'm going to try to keep up with weekly vlogs again. If that goes well, the next vlog you should see from me. I want to do a video about my favorite fan interactions that I've had over the years um, because I always have such a great time meeting you guys and you guys are all so great. Um, and I want to talk about some of my favorite fan stories that I've had and maybe I'll mention one of yours. Um, remember, if you want to keep up with our Keeper Adventures and find out when we post new videos, you can follow us on Instagram at children.of.light. Um, we post there when we post new videos. Um, we have Instagram stories. Sometimes we'll go live, so you can just follow us during the day. And if you want to follow my adventures personally for whatever reason, you can follow me at willow underscore tree underscore Angelo. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you guys have a magical day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!